Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In today's video, we will talk about algebra expression. We're in, itong topic na to is the introduction for algebra na kung saan pag-aaralan natin yung different parts of an expression like constants, variables, and many more. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now let's talk about algebraic expressions. Sabi dito, an algebraic expression is a variable, a constant, or a combination of both which may be related by any of the four fundamental operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Here are the terminologies na you may encounter nyo when you are dealing or studying algebraic expressions. First one is yung tinatawag nating variable. A variable is a letter. Again, a letter that represents a number. These letters are just a representation of numbers. Next, we have the constants. Constants are numbers with fixed values. Later on, I will give you an example of that. And then we have the word degree. The degree of an algebraic expression is the highest exponent value of any of its term. Next, we have here the word term. A term is a constant, a variable, or a product, or a quotient of constants and variables. Terms are separated by the symbols plus and minus. We have here an example of an algebraic expression which is read as 5x squared minus 3. Or you can read this one, 5x to the power of 2 minus 3. So we have here the different parts of it, of this expression. This one, this number 5, this one is called the coefficient. Okay, the number beside the variable. And then, this one is your variable. It is a letter. It's letter X. So you can encounter different letters to be used as variable in an algebra expression. But this time, we're using X. Next. This term, or this number, 3, is the constant with a fixed value. And for the degree of an algebraic expression, as you can see, this one is the exponent of your variable, and that is the highest exponent of variable existing in this given expression. So the degree of the expression is 2. And now, these are the terms. Terms are separated by addition and subtraction or subtraction symbol. This time, we're using subtraction symbol. These are the terms. This is your first term. And this is your second term. Okay? So we have two terms here in our given expression. So right after this, after those terminologies, pupuntahan naman natin yung different types of algebraic expressions. By the way, algebraic expressions... are named by the number of terms. So we have here, again, we are naming algebraic expressions by the number of terms. The first one, or the first type of an algebraic expression ay yung tinatawag natin monomial. Again, monomial. So what is the definition of monomial? Monomial is an algebraic expression with one term. Here are the examples. This one, is an example of monomial, 5. Single-termed expression. Another example is that we have 4x. It has one term only. Next, example, we have negative 3. A squared x is an example of monomial. Another is that we have 5ab squared c cubed. Though marami kayo nakikita ang variable, this one is an example of monomial. Next, after monomial, we have the binomial. Sabi dito, binomial is an expression or algebraic expression with two terms. So, as you can see, the first example here is that we have x plus 2y. Sir, how come that this kind of expression is a binomial with two terms? 
So as you can see, it is separated by addition sign, meaning this is your first term and this is your second term. Definitely, that is, that is an example of binomial. Next, we have here this one, negative x squared y plus 7x. This is your separation, your addition sign. Therefore, this is your first term. Though we have two variables, this, is, this one is counted as one term. And the second term is 7x. So I hope na clear yung ating explanation about binomial and the number of terms. Next, we have here a squared minus 4. This is your first term and this is your second term. So right after that, we will go to trinomial. From the word, from the first syllable itself, tri, meaning 3. Sabi dito, trinomial is an algebra expression with three terms. So let's have the examples. We have your a squared, first term, 2x, second term, and 3. That is your third term. Definitely, that one is an example of trinomial. Next, we have here this one. a squared minus 4ab plus 2b squared is also an example of trinomial. This is your first term, second term, and third term. Okay? So we are clear with trinomials. Fourth one is yung tinatawag nating polynomial or multinomial or multinomial. Sabi dito, for the definition, is an algebra expression with more than three terms. Again, if you have binomial, monomial, binomial, and trinomial, when your expression has four terms and above, with more than three terms, meaning that kind of expression is considered as polynomial or monomial. This is our example. And we have 4x to the 5th power minus 6y to the 4th power plus 4z squared minus 2. This is your first term, 4x to the 5th power, second term, third term, and fourth term. Therefore, that is a polynomial. Next, for this one, this is your first term. Second term, sorry, second term, third term, and fourth term. So that one is also an example of polynomial. I hope na for this slide or for this part of the video, you already know how to identify or classify whether the given expression is a monomial, binomial, trinomial, and polynomial. Now, let us answer this activity wherein we are given the direction, identify the kind of algebraic expression, and determine the degree, variables, and constant. So, for example, number one, the given is 4x plus 3x to the fourth power minus 15. So, as you can see, we can have here the number of terms, which is 1, 2, and 3. Definitely. This one is an example of trinomial. Next, for the variables, the only letter that we can see in the given example is x. For the degree of the polynomial, or the degree of the expression, look at the exponents of the variable. Here, your x has the exponent of 1, and comparing 1 and 4, the highest is 4, meaning the degree of this expression is 4. For the constant, do not do not write 15. Try to include the negative sign. Therefore, the constant is negative 15. Now, for example number 2, or for item number 2, we have 15xyz plus x squared yc squared minus abc plus 3. So as you can see, we have here 1, 2, 3, and 4 terms. So this is a polynomial.
Next, for the variables, for the variables, the letters here are so many. We have here x, y, z, x, y, z, and then we also have a, b, and c. Now for the degree, as you can see, the highest exponent existing in each term is 2. So the highest degree or the degree is 2. Now for the constant, the constant is this one, 3. So you can write here 3. Let's erase this one. Cannot erase this. Next, let's move on with number 3. We have x plus 3x squared minus 10x cubed plus 1. We have here 1, 2, 3, and 4 terms. So, this will be a polynomial. And for the variables, I can only see the letter x, so the variable is x. For the degree, this one has the exponent of 1. Comparing 1, 2, and 3, the highest is 3. Okay? So, therefore, the degree is 3. For the constant, you have here 1. Next, number 4. We have 15abc squared minus 11. Actually, this is our first term and second term. Therefore, the kind of expression that we have is a binomial. Next, for the variable, the variables are a, b, c. And now for the degree, as you can see, the highest exponent is 2. Therefore, you have here 2. And for the constant, all you need to do is to write negative 11. Next, you have here number... Number 5, which is 20. So that is counted as one term, meaning the type of polynomial or expression is that the given is a monomial. And for the variables, we don't see any letter. I can see any letter, meaning none. Now, for the degree, since this one is a constant, kapag constant, automatic, the degree is 0. Okay? Tandaan nyo yun, kapag constant, ang degree niya is 0. Next, yung constant niya is definitely 20. So, I hope na natuto kayo sa ating given tutorial about the introduction of algebraic expression. And I already taught you about the different terminologies you can encounter in this kind of topic. And aside from that, we already identified the different types of polynomial based on the number of terms. Again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at ihit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!